This is Dolany TV, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, good morning, good tomorrow if you're tuning in even on a later time. Uh, guess what? The Oilers, they lost to the uh, Vegas Golden Knights last night. I was going to say the LA Kings. We'll talk about them in a moment. But we lost to the Vegas Golden Knights last night. That means unofficially, but officially, the division is more or less gone for the Oilers and unfortunately that also means that we will have to settle for a lesser playoff seed although that is potentially good news as we currently stand friends the Oilers if they get into this number two hole spot will play the LA Kings again for the second year in a row unless anything changes obviously Seattle could still have something to say about that but realistically for the Oilers at this point it is going to be the LA Kings more than likely unless somehow Seattle slips us back into the wild card but it currently looks like the Oilers should be able to maintain ahead of Seattle the rest of the way home and indeed take home either the number two seed in the Pacific or the number three seed. So we'll talk about that in a matter of moments, but if you're new to the channel, friends, I want you to consider doing something for me. Hitting that subscribe button here on Dolan TV. We're at 11,385 subscribers entering action today, and of course, I'd love to hit that 11,400, try and get close to 11,500 before puck drop at 2.15 p.m. in Cold Lake next Friday as we get set to broadcast the U18 Female B Hockey Alberta Provincial Championships. Patrick from the Oilers Fanatic and Gillis TV and I getting going on that one for you next weekend. But obviously where do the Oilers sit? Well, they're sitting not, uh, not in the best spots, but also not in the worst of spots, right? Last year we took home... Uh, second place in the Pacific Division, 104 points, uh, five ahead of the LA Kings. And now this year we have to uh, try and just kind of get past the LA Kings. And obviously I think yeah, you look at kind of where the Oilers are now versus where they were earlier in the season. You uh, you win a couple of those really squandered games to begin the season, whether you blame Jack Campbell or even the bad games from Stuart Skinner at the start of the year. Uh, yeah, you know what, you're probably... Not in this situation. Again, you're probably still in that division race, but after losing to the Vegas Golden Knights last night, the gap's now seven with nine games to go. I highly doubt Vegas somehow goes on a five-game losing streak to close out the season and the Oilers find a way to go seven and two down the stretch. But for the Oilers, you've got two games remaining against the LA Kings. You've got stuff you can take advantage of there, right? That's four points that you can win, but that's technically eight points as well because it's four-point games if they, uh, LA picks up any points. And if you get those four points, you're now at 95, right? LA has played 74, so you're talking about a total of, right, like not many, many games remaining where the Oilers have to. Out of those two games, right, that'll give you seven remaining in the season. You have to find a way to probably win five or four and lose one in overtime and just kind of somehow get another nine points out of that, right? And right now for the Oilers, you're looking at trying to come away with, to try and obviously match what you did last year, but also to try and get ahead of the LA Kings. 104 is going to have to be the uh, magic number, and that would mean 13 out of a possible 18 points for the Oilers. So two wins against the LA Kings, and then, yeah, four wins elsewhere, and maybe an overtime loss somewhere in there. And that's kind of scary because that's a record of 6-2-1 two and, two, uh, two and down the stretch for the Oilers. And I know what we've thought about this team over the course of the year. Yes, we've won 41 games, but uh, besides a couple of big win streaks like the one that just came to an end last night, um, we haven't really had sustained success for long periods of time this season for stretches on end. And obviously if you went on another 4-5 or five game winning streak, that would be about anywhere between 10 to 11 games straight with points starting up on the next one. So that's where it's really, really tight for the Oilers is you got to make sure you win those games against the LA Kings and get back into that uh, second place spot in the Pacific Division and then all of a sudden things will take care of itself. And obviously, why are we so gung-ho about trying to get into second place in the Pacific Division or why was I so so hammering that the Oilers just needed to win the division. The Oilers were the best threat to win the division. Obviously, I don't think anyone else is going to win the division now over the Vegas Golden Knights. So 
why was I just hammering home that we needed to get home ice kind of more or less? Well, because, right, we need it. Against the LA Kings especially, they have improved quite heavily this year. To have that home crowd for a potential 4 out of 7 games, to have the home bounces, the last change, everything like that, the bench closer to you in the your own zone and stuff, it, it really makes sense for the Oilers where you have to you have to come up with a big time effort to win this second spot in the Pacific Division because honestly not saying I don't have faith in the Oilers but knowing what the LA Kings did to us last playoffs and it's not like they've changed majorly I think the biggest change for them is getting rid of uh, Jonathan Quick and adding a couple of big pieces like I believe Kevin Fiala so you know what, the LA Kings have gotten better and obviously they've gotten some pretty solid goaltending out of their new uh, new goaltenders as well. So can we really afford to go out there and give up a uh, home ice advantage situation against the LA Kings when really all it comes down to is win both games against LA? I know I said that against Vegas and we failed to do that, so maybe I'm cursing it here a little bit, but win both games against LA and then just find a way to win four or five more down the stretch and you should be able to secure it as long as LA just goes a little mediocre but that's the scariest part of all this friends is for the Oilers you know what there is no guarantees right now obviously even still there is a potential at current that we could miss the playoffs though that number seems very very slim the Nashville Predators have 11 games remaining a total of 22 points they could amass so they could still they could still very well boot us out of the playoffs here but that's just where we're at is um and there's not much really remaining in the pacific division or in the central division that would kick us out of the playoffs other than nashville and realistically too speaking uh calgary's at 81 points right they could do something if the oilers went and lost nine games straight but the magic number as it currently stands today, is down to 11 for the Edmonton Oilers. So that's where you're at, right? Is Playoffs are more or less guaranteed at this point just because of how things will probably shape out the rest of the season, right? You win five games, the, uh, the whatchamacallum, uh, Nashville Predators lose two or three games, and that pretty much seals the deal right there. But for the Oilers at current, you just need to go out there and win the games against the LA Kings, win four other games, and everything probably falls into place, right? A 47-win season probably settles the Oilers into that second spot as long as LA goes mediocre, right? There's still a chance LA runs the table down the stretch here, and we don't even sniff second place in the Pacific Division at all. So, friends... I'm Tyson, this stolen on the TV. That's what you need to know. The update on the playoff run right now. I am up on out of here.